News today are not the libraries your parents may remember. They are evolving in order to meet the needs of the 21st century. It's not all about books these days. From cake pans to record players, even metal detectors, Eastern Iowa libraries are renting out more stuff more and more often. KCRG TV9's Raleigh Swain joins us now after visiting Marion's new library and how it's expanded with some rather non-traditional resources, right? That's right, Jim. Today, the non-traditional collection I visited was a seed library about to open up again in the new year. And while I was there, I heard all about the different ways people are using the modern library. Five-year-old Henry, three-year-old William and their mom, Crystal Ruth, are all regulars at the Marion Library. We've been coming here since they opened. And they use it for way more than books. We do a lot of different things here. The um, kids like to check out audiobooks. Um, the tablets in the children's section are also amazing. Crystal even made her kids Christmas presents here. And I've also gotten um, things made in the maker space upstairs. So the Glowforge cut um, name plates that said William the Dragon and Henry the Hectic. Along with tools like the Glowforge laser cutter, recording studios, and 3D printers, the library has non-traditional collections like the Seed Library. People are invited to come and check them out. Um, they don't have to return anything. And we simply ask that when you're getting them, you take only the seeds that you need. According to a 2023 article, collections of objects called Libraries of Things have existed for several decades, the but their, quote, current good. rise and spread coincides with several intersecting social movements, including changing technology and the so-called sharing economy. Think things like Uber, Airbnb, and TaskRabbit. Growing up, you know, the library was a quiet space where you went and you picked out your books, but you know, times are changing. The goal of this library in general is to help people find their passions and to nurture those. So whether you need seeds to start a new garden, pans for baking, movies to watch, you get the idea. There's a good chance these days you can find some of it at the library. There's something for everybody involved and the library is really a world of opportunity. So if I had this world of opportunity when I was younger, I would be so excited. I would never leave. <laughs> As for that seed library, last year they started with about 800 seed packets and ended with about 30. This year the librarian said they're starting the season with about double that inventory. She said it was so popular she wouldn't say exactly when it was going to open to avoid a rush on the seeds, just that it will be open before the end of next week. In the studio, Molly Swain, KCRG, TV9 News.